So I'm here at the uh, All American Show, and I uh, I'm a little concerned with all this, all the all the stories about the mass shooting and the massacres and stuff. I found a guy that has a bunch of ray guns. I, I think that, you know, when you're talking about mass shootings, yes. uh, I think if people used ray guns, uh, we'd be in a lot better shape. Okay, so so what you're saying is you don't think ray guns are really are really the problem? I don't think so. I okay. don't think so. In fact, I think playing with ray guns gets the angst out of our system and allows us to play. And if we don't get the angst out of our system, we take real guns and we go shoot people. I see. So instead of like putting cops in schools and having more guns on the street, your solution is to get people to play with ray guns. That is correct. And they would have this sort of catharsis. That's exactly right. And they right. wouldn't have the need that is correct. to take machine guns and, and kill students. That's precisely it. Okay, I figured we would come up with something. If now, you, now, now, what, now, what is your name, young man? Justin Pincho. Justin. Now, I was wondering, Justin, do you just happen to be sitting here next to these ray guns, or do you have a relationship to these ray guns? I have a relationship to them. You have a, and when did this relationship start? Was it early this morning, or uh, has it been a while? I'd say about 30 years. About 30 years. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the thing, other than, other than that it's a, a good preventative of violence, what is the thing about ray guns that interests you so much? Now, let me take a guess. I assume... You probably have, by the by the squint of that eye, about 320 guns, ray guns at home. Is that about right? I think you nailed it right on the money. Okay. Yeah. Because I was thinking about 319, but I went overboard. You went overboard. So what is the, what is the thing about ray guns that interests you so much? Uh, you know, I'm I'm a little young for ray guns because they were all gone by the time I was growing up. It was it was crate bikes and moonies and all kinds of crazy hot rod stuff when I was a kid. Uh huh. Uh, so ray guns ended by the time I was born in, in the 60s. Uh, but what I loved about them was that they were they were Art Deco. And I love Art Deco, and so I was fascinated by that. And then uh, I, I realized there were so many to collect that I could never collect them all, and so I started going crazy. And of course, I collected as many as I possibly could. Yeah. But um, what so, fascinated now what, what was your peak? What was your all-time ray gun peak? Oh, the largest a, arsenal you've ever had. Oh, that'd be a thousand guns. At so least. about a thousand guns. Yeah, yeah. Now, when in your in your ray gun heyday? Can you tell me some of the really great ones yes. that you had back then? Yes, I've had a pyrotomic disintegrator a, in the a, box. A, a what? Pyrotomic a disintegrator. Pyrotomic disintegrator. Yes. Wow. That's one of the rarest plastic guns known. Uh -huh. I found one in the box, one of only two ever found in the box. Where, where did you find it? At, a, at an auction in the Midwest. So admit, do you remember the name of that auction? I do not. Do you remember the name of the city? I, I do not. Okay. It was in Tulsa, Oklahoma, I believe. Okay, so you were in Tulsa, oh, the, one of the ray gun capitals of the Midwest. Happened to be in, in Tulsa, and someone said there's a little auction with some toys in it, you should go. Okay. And I went, and there was this toy, it was one of two known in the world. It sold for, I shouldn't tell tales out of school, but it sold for $10,000 in the well, box. That's how rare the toy was. Well. Yeah, extremely rare. So that's one of the top pieces over the years. Do you that still I've own had. that? I sold it. You sold it? I sold it. Did, did, did you have to make the rent or something? What, uh, what? I, I made my rent for several years with that one. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, uh, I've had some. I've had some pretty rare guns. I've had a couple prototypes made by uh, for Marks. Uh -huh. A couple Marks prototypes. I've had um, uh, some early Buck Rogers stuff in the box uh, with the holsters, with all of the sets that they came with, and badges and this kind of stuff. So, so how do ray guns do what they do? What is the, the secret mechanism inside a ray gun that makes its noise or flashes lights or... Oh, I was going to say the mechanism to make them work is between your ears. I see. That's the mechanism it's, it's that the makes brain. them work, the imagination but that they... Uh, do some ray guns have like lights and they sounds? They all do different and things, sure. Some are cap guns. Some, are, some, some, are, some ray guns are cap guns. Some are cap guns, some are pop guns. Uh-huh. Now, some, wait, wait. What is a pop gun? A is pop it, gun is a, is a captured cork. So, a captured cork. Captured okay. Captured cork. Uh, uh, so it's got a string. Some, it's got a string on it. And, uh, some have a string. Some, some don't. Some have a cork with a string. Some have a cork captured inside that reinserts itself once you shoot it, so it it, it can re keep re popping. So what, what what do you call that? That's a pop gun. Okay, so it's that a that's a pop gun. So the way it works, it shoots Off the it. it shoots the cork. It shoots a cork into oh, itself. There is a it's captured cork. There is a hidden cork in this. Yes. It shoots it, and then it comes right back again. Ah, okay. So these these are the kind of secrets these that I was hoping. Secrets. Okay, so that's a captured cork. Some are, what some are some of the other secrets? Some are battery op uh -huh. ray guns, and this you put batteries in, and you can shoot Morse code to your friends. You can shoot Morse code. Yeah. Now, now do, 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 do you know some Morse code? I do not. Okay. Sadly, I do not. This does two things. You don't this, know SOS? I do know SOS. Okay. Let's hear you do SOS. 
Good enough. That's that's, that's the important one. Gonna get. This this gun also. So this d gun does a clicker sound and also has a battery. Okay, so, so this is so a clicker and this is a flashlight and a and a clicker gun. Okay, all all in one. Now, is this a flashlight in the form of a ray gun, or is this a ray gun that kind of looks like a flashlight? This is a ray gun that has a flashlight function. Okay. So there you go. So oh. they, have, they have different functions. This oh, one's a water gun. Oh, look at that. That's a water gun. That's the Hiller Adam that. Ray. That, that's, this is the what? The Hiller Adam Ray gun. The Hiller Adam Ray gun. The guy who designed this Ray gun also designed the Hiller helicopter. Well, it has a very aviation. See, this reminds me of a Zeppelin. Yeah. And, it, and uh, it's a water gun. It's how much does this one sell for? That's 450 450 now, is this a uh, higher Please. end for the ones you have it here? Is. It is. Indeed. This looks, you know, this is my favorite one so far. It's a pretty good it one. It looks like a rather serious See thing. the Art Deco elements? Yes. The well, metal construction, uh -huh. uh, the fact that it's a water pistol and still works. That, that's all very nice stuff. Well, well I'm going to stop this.